your between uh, meetings and standing orders aren't applying, could I ask please that whoever is organising the Zoom meeting ejects the people who are deliberately causing trouble and are here to show off? Uh, some of them are on the main screen. It is completely unacceptable. Um, and can I also ask the other councillors, can you please work with the chairman and stop trying to wind him up? He's in the very difficult circumstances and I think some of the attitudes that you're showing is disrespectful. I don't know who this resident is, but I certainly take affront at that. I've always been respectful of the chair. And yeah, so there's not um, been any disrespect from us. We're trying to keep the meeting on track. I shall declare the meeting open. I thank that person for the comments, obviously. Um, I don't really know what we do about uh, disruptive members of the audience, but uh, we have to follow the law for that. Um, we can only, uh, sorry, there are standing orders, I should say. Standing order 10B, we can only uh, eject people if they are nominated by the chair and then the council votes on it. It's very unfortunate. And I would ask members of the public to try not to treat it as a comedy. <coughs> Okay, we move on to the full council meeting. Uh, sorry, I need to get the agenda up on my screen. <coughs> I can see what I'm talking about. There somewhere, I'm sure. You may have noticed that one of the newspapers described me as having roomy eyes, R-E-G-U-M-Y eyes, which I thought was a particularly intelligent comment. Um, it's actually true, of course. It's one of the side effects of having been diabetic for 40-something uh, years. Okay, so the first item on the agenda is apologies for absence and I presume that's the same as before. Um, then we have uh, the declaration of any pecuniary or non-pecuniary interests. Does anybody have anything to say about that? None, Chair. Thank you. Councillor Moore, none. Thank you. Smith, none. Was that Smith, sorry? Yep. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And I have none. Okay, open forum. Uh, again, member, members of the public may speak or ask questions about yeah, items that are on the agenda. Um, I, would, I would ask you to note that uh, there's a 15 minute session for discussing items that are not on the agenda later on. Um, so we will restrict this to items, this particular piece, to items that are on the agenda, just so we can move things on a bit. Okay, anybody got anything to ask or to say? Any other yes, please. The public? Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Could you state your name, please? Roger Small, uh, South Ward resident. Thank you. I'd like to uh, suggest some changes to the minutes, they're minor changes, the minutes of the last meeting, they're minor changes, but I think they're important. Uh, I'm referring to um, item 21038, uh, paras uh, B and C there. I'd like to point out that during that, uh, that last meeting, um, we stated that uh, as regards the list of projects in the neighbourhood plan, that list did not or was not constructed in any order of priority. Secondly, that um, with regard to 
the final amount of monies to be received by Hanforth Parish Council, either through S106 or SIL payments, uh, we pointed out that the Parish Council may have to meet in the future two relatively large bills. One will be a bill uh, related to completion of the station car park, and the other one might be a bill related to the widening of the uh, southern uh, footpath on Station Road. I think those two bills have to be uh, borne in mind that they, they may come about. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Anybody else? No? Good. Uh, David Pinkham has his hand up. David. David, you're on mute. Could you please unmute yourself? David, we, we can't hear you at the moment. Could you unmute? There you go. Can you hear me now? Yep, we can hear you, David. Okay, fine, thanks. Right, it's um, item 21058, and it's regarding the um, motion to consider the a payment of £10,000 uh, per annum to um, subsidise, help subsidise the 130 bus route. Um, could I just say that this bus service over the last three years, as we all know, um, has um, been unsuccessful in terms of being able to stand on its own um, merits. It's always required some sort of subsidy. And what I'd like to understand is that the amount of money if Hanforth are putting in is £10,000, could someone advise what the other councils in the area are also putting in and what percentage of that is the Hanforth £10,000? Yeah. Thank you. Can I answer that, Chair? Yes, the person to answer that might be Councillor Smith. Yes, um, I can give you an answer now, uh, David, but I can give you a full answer on the, or as full as possible, on the, when we get to the actual agenda item. Thank you. That, that's acceptable. That's fine. Thank you. Chair, could I, could I extend a discussion on that point? If yes. the Parish Council are going to uh, contribute £10,000 per annum to this, uh, subsidising this bus route, will the Parish Council get a say in uh, the actual route itself? Will this bus go through the Spath Lane Loop, for example? And how? Uh, what will be the frequency of the bus service? I am unable to answer that question myself because um, the, the original intention from the Deputy Leader of Cheshire East was to have a meeting with all of the councillors. Um, but somehow or other, it ended up with only uh, councillors uh, Moore and Samson and Smith being there. The uh, the other three, that's myself and uh, Ruden and Burkhill, were supposed to have a meeting, a Zoom meeting with him. Um, and, uh, I've lost track of time, but two weeks ago, say nothing. Um, and he had to cancel from that. So we haven't had the benefit of this discussion. Uh, we are kind of in ignorance of what's been discussed other than in broad brush terms. So uh, I, I, Can I, ask think, you? I think I'm going to, uh, well, I, I am going to suggest that we have a bit of a discussion on that item on the agenda and ask for it to be deferred until we've had an opportunity to speak to the deputy leader. Um, chairman. chairman. Sorry. Sorry um, sir. But any, anyway, let's, let's deal with that when we get to that item on the agenda. Uh, let's keep with the uh, open. Chairman, could I could I just speak there, please? Um, you were invited to a meeting on Saturday, as were all councillors. Which in fact, no in fact chair, chair, we 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 had had a meeting arranged with uh, the deputy leader on the Thursday evening. Uh, then the, we were told that you were not attending that; you were attending a meeting on the Saturday. So we said, right, well, forget our meeting. We'll join in with your meeting on the Saturday with the deputy leader. And um, 
we were the only three that turned up. Um, so that there was a meeting arranged. We fell in with the meeting that you were going to be attending. But then when we attended it, yourself, Councillor Brewerton and Councillor Burkill didn't show. So all, I'd just like to correct that because you, yeah, you mentioned that you weren't able to have that meeting. Well, we changed our plans so that we had all the parish council there so that we could have a good discussion and see each other's point of view um, before we brought it to full council tonight. But unfortunately, because of uh, just the three of us being there, we're unable to do that. It seems like there's been a mon monumental muck-up. Well, that's what you want to call it. It was people not attending the meeting that they were intending to. Well, what do you no. change? Councillor Brown is Are we going to argue about what it should be called? No, we'll, we'll ignore it and we'll go ahead. Please. So we're still in the open forum. So uh, does any other member yeah, of the public? Chairman, have? might I raise a question, please? Um, I'd like to ask uh, in relation to item 21054 which is approving and signing the minutes of the Handforth Parish Council Extraordinary Meeting of 21st of January 2021. Why, uh, during that meeting, was Jackie Weaver allowed to dismiss the chairman from the meeting when the chairman is the only one with that power and when Jackie Weaver was not a council member and only in attendance? And based on that, as the chairman and vice chairman were both evicted from the extraordinary meeting and unable to vote at that meeting, does that meeting now become null and void? No, it does not. Well, I would, I I would, would ask you, I would, agree with you. I would agree with you. Well, perhaps I'd, I'd like to speak on that then, Chair. And I. Well, shall we do it in the course of the discussion of that item? This is still the open forum. Yes, right? okay. Mm -hmm. When we're approving and signing the minutes, yes, by all means. Um, can I make a point, please? I don't, I don't know who's speaking. It's Alan. So, um, right. What's the process to, you know, make a complaint, um, you know, about individuals, um, you know, who, can I put it diplomatically, you know, are not following, you know, the standing orders, um, you know, who unfortunately were ejected due to the disgraceful behaviour in the last few meetings and who in this meeting tonight one of them has you know walked off the meeting because didn't agree with you know what was being voted on with the minutes how do we go about making you know a complaint because um you know the, the last meeting the two well three people that were ejected uh, were every right to be ejected and uh, as um everyone knows Jackie Weaver was you know um invited to chair the meeting and give advice because no. she's on the is it chair of Cheshire, um, you know, parish council over there. Only a council. Process and you know, on, on raising um, a complaint. Because um, you know, to be honest, and no disrespect, um, your actions, Councillor Tolva, have you know been um, wholly unacceptable including tonight when um you know you've not voted on um you know things that all the councillors haven't agreed with and you've then um, tried to just not discuss the previous minutes unfortunately this is why i've noticed in the minutes lots of things that are being brought up from months ago that instead of just being allowed to be discussed like them to plan applications from earlier can't really hear what you're saying i'm afraid so you, I think your microphone. So basically, what I'm saying is, unfortunately, as Councillor Talby, you're one of the persons whose behaviour in the previous meetings was unacceptable, and as tonight you're not following standing orders, and you're clearly trying to just drag business onto an extra meeting next week instead of being able to discuss it tonight. Okay. And bearing in mind that the council is for the needs of the, you know, the, um, the okay. residents, how do how does how does someone raise complaints <coughs> about 
<laughs> you know, you're an acceptable and the other counsellors, none of which here tonight I add, um, you know, an acceptable behaviour. I can get the sort of general drift that you're unhappy about <laughs> what you're calling unacceptable behaviour. Um, I'm, I'm very unhappy, and, and it's for example earlier, you walked off, well, you walked off when you didn't agree with the fact that there's going to be a vote on the proved in the meeting from the previous meeting. Well, maybe and that's not acceptable, you know, and then you disagreed with what the clerk said when, you know, he's called for a vote. You know, that isn't acceptable, it's not following the standing orders, which you keep Dear, discussing the I, I, I'm just not hearing enough of what you said. I, 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 I said, boring. General, general kind of drift of what you're saying, but I can't hear enough to be specific about your specific points. And then, um, can answer more um, Smith or Samson? Can you hear me okay? Can, yes, can I agree. Can, can, um, can, can I, I speak? If you agree or disagree with what I stated? Um, this is Councillor Samson here. I'd like to respond to iPad 3. Firstly, Jackie Weaver did not chair the meeting, she clerked the meeting. Also, she is not the chair of Cheshire East, she is a senior officer at CHALP, which is the advisory body that town and parish councils can go to for advice and professional uh, legal items. They are looked after by NALC, which is the National Association for Local Councils. And I can assure you that any meetings that we have called, either extraordinary or not, we have always checked the legalities of them before we called them. Thank you. And may I just... I would agree with what you said, except that um, NALC isn't a supervisory body for... May, may, I just, may I just interject at this point because no, Councillor no, 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 no. Warren Smith no, and no. Councillor Brewerton have had emails from me regarding the legality. They've had legal advice from me regarding the legality of calling that meeting illegal. Or right. Could you mute that person, please? Uh, um, Anna I Murdoch, I believe you have a question. I mean, you can't just mute me. I'm asking you. Ashley, would you mute that person, please? I'm just asking. I thought you wanted to vote on that. I, yeah. I, I was trying to. I was trying to speak to. Um, councillors, councillors Smith and councillors Moore have had legal advice from me regarding the legality of calling Ashley, the last you, meeting could, illegal. Ashley, mm. could you could you please mute people whilst I just respond to what Councillor Sampson said? Thank you. Yeah. Doge coin to the moon. Um. Councillor Samson said that um, uh, Chuck, uh, I forgot what the phrase was now, but basically uh, managed or monitored or supervised by Chuck. Uh, uh, Brian, you've just muted yourself while you're talking. We can't hear you. And Councillor Samson, would I be able to respond to you, please? Brian, you're talking, but you're currently muted. Chairman, you got something to say on this? Chairman, you're muted. Ah, oh, better. Good morning. Chairman James. I don't know how that happened. I haven't touched anything. That's better. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so I was just making the point that um, NALC are not a supervisory organisation for Chalk or any of the other Alks. Yes, they are. Yeah. Councillor Tolver. Well, that's what they it's... denied to us when we asked them to intervene. Well, I've not seen that evidence, but I do know that the National Association of Local Councils are the body that supervises Chalk and all the other local bodies that... Mm -hmm. I don't, with, I don't know why they would have given me a different answer from the one they gave to you. But that's well, did they give it you in an email? Well, I didn't ask them to. How did they give it to you? I was just would talking to be them. able to just explain what Nalk and Chalk are, please? Okay. Chalk is Cheshire Association of Local Councils. Um, they uh, 
operate within the Cheshire area, that's Cheshire West as well as Cheshire East. Um, the, the, these various ALCs around the country are um, uh, independent organisations. I was going to call them companies, but I, don't, not, I, th I think they're formally speaking associations. They're not, um, they're not publicly authorised bodies like councils. They, I mean, you, you could set up your own ALC if you wanted to, is really what I'm saying. Um, but uh, they, they tend to operate one for each county. And their essential purpose is to, or the, the way they earn their corn, is to give advice and support and uh, training to local councils, town and parish councils. NALC is the National Association of Local Councils. It does the same sort of job on a national basis. Um, but as I said, they, when, when I've spoken to them, they have denied having supervisory control over the, the local county ALCs. So they they are self-interested companies. And that's Chair, can I, I just, can say about them. Chair, can I just say that you, you, you've answered the question. Can we, can we accept that, so, you know, take, just take it a while, but can we, can we please move on? I believe Annan Murdoch, you have a question. You're muted currently. Um, we've yep. got the we've got the minutes here of the twenty first of January meeting. What's happened to the minutes of the twelfth of January? There were some important issues on that, like the accessibility statement on the website and so on, that were never resolved. Okay. Has anyone seen minutes of the twelfth of January? <coughs> no. 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 Who? Um, oh. Um, I think Councillor Brewerton was uh, was clerking that until he had an unavoidable, important meeting to go to. Um, so presumably he he would be doing the minutes for up until the point he was uh, pulled away. <laughs> it, it was a Follow that up. If I remember rightly, um, Councillor Law brought up a. Um, a point about the accessibility statement that the one that was once to be used was the incorrect one and was an, um, you know, more detailed one. So I agree with Council Law's previous point that we do have, we should, you know, adopt a more detailed accessibility statement, you know, um, which, you know, actually should be used. Um, you know, for the, the parish council, and not the, the the small one with a few lines that was proposed. I think that was you and Councillor that um, said that it was the wrong one that was going to be used previously. Okay, look, we've spent quite considerably more than the fifty minutes allotted on on this item. So, so could I just ask is somebody going to follow up? I think up we'll move on now to item number four on the agenda. That's to. Approve and sign the minutes. I'm sorry, it's the Paris Council meeting on the 21st of January. Uh, can, can, can I assume, as my question wasn't answered, it will be brought up by Councillors Moore or Smith as part of um, the agenda, uh, as part of approving the agenda items the, uh, regarding 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 approving the minutes regarding the legality of calling the previous meeting illegal. Yes, can I answer that, Chair? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear it. I was concentrating on the... Councillors Moore and Smith have my legal advice on it. Can I... The, we, we agreed at the last, whilst we were in the open forum that um, we would wait until we were getting to the signing of the minutes. Uh, where I would uh, make you aware of what I had to say regarding those minutes uh, based on, I think it was the member of the public asking um, about the legality claims that you made. Mm -hmm. So may I go ahead, um, Chair? Council Smith, would you be Councillor Smith, would you be including an accessibility statement within what you have to say as well? Or is that are we discussing the no, because, no, because the accessibility statement was from the meeting of the 12th of uh, January, which was uh, 
chaired by uh, <coughs> Councillor Tolver, and the minutes were partially taken by Councillor Brewerton. Are we discussing the minutes of the 21st of January or not? Y yes, please. That's why I was asking you if I could do that, because the question was asked about the le the legality uh, claims that you made. And uh, on, on the beginning of each of the two meetings, you stated that the meetings were unlawful. You actually said this meeting has not been called according to the law. The law has been broken. There are very specific conditions for calling an EXO meeting, and these have not been met. Correct. They are specified in Standard Orders 17B and in law. Correct. It has to be called by the chairman or has to be requisitioned by two councillors applying to the chair. Yes. I have received no such requisition. Correct. Councillor Moore, with my name at the bottom of the email as well, sent an email to you requesting, requesting that you call an extraordinary meeting on the 25th of November. But you didn't... We received you didn't, no reply. You didn't provide she an also, agenda. She also requested on the 28th of November, but you didn't reply. <laughs> Another email was sent on the 30th of November, which you didn't reply. And then another one on Tuesday, the 1st of December, which you didn't reply to. And then on Friday, the 4th of December, an agenda was issued to all councillors. It was posted to all HPC notice boards and both our names were on the bottom of that agenda. Then the meeting actually took place on Thursday, the 10th of December. And we all know that meeting. So there were four occasions of emails, Chair, that you didn't reply to. You in said none, you hadn't received But them. in none of them did you provide me with an agenda. Excuse me. That's the right, an agenda is not a necessary. Excuse it doesn't me, say that. Smith. Sorry. Councillor Smith, may I just interrupt one second there? Please there do. is no requirement in the standing orders or in the 1972 Act that says you have to provide an agenda. You do not have to provide an agenda. We were simply asking for permission as put down and stated quite clearly in our standing orders. And we were trying to continue with Hanforth Parish Council uh, responsibilities and keeping matters moving whilst the clerk was suspended. And that was the sole purpose of that meeting. No other, be, nothing else at all. And I don't see why uh, you would not respond to my emails. But having said that, Councillor Tolver, neither yourself, Councillor Burkhill, or Councillor Brewerton respond. How would it be possible? Sick burn for me to uh, advertise a meeting on the public notice boards, your, your extraordinary meetings, without you providing me with an agenda in the right time frame. You don't yeah, have to. That, chair, sorry, yeah. Cynthia, can I just say, Chair? Right. Sorry, so, Chair, that is irrelevant because the standing orders, on the Hanford standing orders, 17B, extraordinary meetings. It says, if the chairman of the council does not or refuses to call an extraordinary meeting of the council, within seven days of having been requested to do so by two councillors, those two councillors may... Ashley, would you mind? Those two councillors may convene an extraordinary meeting of the council. The statutory public notice giving the time, venue and agenda for such a meeting must be signed by the two councillors, which had our name at the bottom. However, that what is you, all that it says. Think? What chair, I'm speaking, Chair. Request? With respect, Chair, I'm still speaking. You're in chair, chair. chair, I'm still speaking. Oh. What do you think? Chair, I will finish what I'm saying. Oh, will you? Yes. Please have some respect for me rather than it just being the one way. <laughs> they're, they're, the standing orders make no mention whatsoever about having to supply an agenda with the request. Well, what, do you think, what do you think a request for an extraordinary meeting is if it, is, if it doesn't include an agenda? <laughs> if you wished it to include that, then you should have altered the standing orders to say so. We were simply following standing orders and protocol. You, you were and I might, the, most, the most minimal interpretation. It's an interpretation. Not at all. Not it doesn't matter. It's an interpretation that makes no sense. 
I might remind you, Councillor Tolver, that I've requested on more than one occasion why, in an email, why you have cut uh, decided to call the meeting illegal, which you can't do actually. You would have to go to a court of law, I believe, to do that. However, that's irrelevant. I asked you for the reasons why you wanted the uh, meeting to be called illegal. And you said to me, I will refer you to the 1972 Act. Well, let me tell you something, Councillor Tolver. Over the last seven, eight, nine months, I have become extremely familiar with the 1972 Act. I have read it in connection with the suspension and the, what I can only call a witch hunt of the clerk. And I know that inside out. And there is nothing in that 1972 Act that any of councillors here have uh, gone against. Everything has been perfectly legal and done, double checked, triple checked to ensure that we weren't doing anything incorrectly. And I find your behaviour obstructive. We are trying to do Hanforth Parish Council business. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah, I agree with Susan. Madam Speaker, I think this is a very aggressive attack on the Chair. Whilst you may voice your opinion on your interpretation of the legality, I don't think it should be discussed in further more detail, but I think you should, councillors, treat them with more respect, because this is coming across as a bullying attitude. Tolva has to call a mix this is March of 2020. Well said, Councillor Moore, well said. Can I just say that I find Councillor Tolva's um, behaviour towards um, the, the other councillors absolutely disgraceful. The last meetings weren't illegal. The three councillors, including Councillor Tolver, were um, ejected due to their behaviour. And can I ask if the other councillors, maybe including the clerk, um, would you possibly look into a vote of no confidence against Councillor Tolver? Because he's you know, showing the same sort of behaviour and disrespect towards not only yourselves as councillors, but as the general public as well. So is that something the councillors would look into? You know, about no confidence? Because honestly, as the chairman and the councillor of the parish council, can, um, you know, Councillor Tolver's behaviour is absolutely disgraceful. Can, can, can we move on and achieve about, something, please? May I How speak? Does Mr. Think Moore have my legal advice regarding... He's not been bullying at all, and I think this is... If they want to use the legal advice I've given them, and I assume Councillor Smith was working towards that, and I, I'm guessing, is that right, Councillor Smith, you're working towards that? Uh, that thank you for your comments, but um, we're, we're trying to um, negotiate a very narrow path where we are staying within the law, uh, where we are not quoting the law that we don't understand or um, uh, have relevance with, but uh, there are a number of issues that, well, I'm, I'm looking for the chair. As, as is he still gone? Is, is the chair still here? He's there, he's falling asleep listening to you lot. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so chair. Shall we go when, back when to the Shall we go Chair. back to the discussion of the minutes? Yes, I, I mentioned in, in that early discussion about the emails that were sent to you. Shall, shall we have I'm just wondering why you didn't respond to them. Shall we have a discussion about the minutes? Can I nominate Alan Murdoch to take no, over? No, I think you should answer Councillor no, Smith's question. Councillor Smith has come uh, up with a question uh, about uh, the how long, how long are Councillors Moore and Smith and Samson? willing to prolong this item on the agenda. Chair, you took about well, five minutes discussing my, 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 view, my view is that... The What's your view on not supplying information, me. Chair? My view is that the meetings were illegal because they weren't called properly according to the law that requires a requisition to be made and to me the only way a requisition for an extraordinary meeting can be sensibly made is if it includes an agenda. How that is not the case, Chair. That How is not the case isn't? whatsoever. Incorrect. So I would I would like to have it's an extraordinary right. meeting on extraordinary, but I'm not going to tell you what's in it. Is that the way um, you think it works? Councillor, 
Councillor Tolver, may I ask a question? Can I, can I just ask? We called, we can called I, this just... meeting today. Why aren't you calling this meeting illegal? Well, it probably is, but let's, oh. let's just try and be sensible and get some business. Oh, is that? So you're now calling a meeting Please illegal. People, let's be civil. Oh, so it's only, it's only illegal if Councillor Brewerton, Councillor Brewerton envisaged, envisaged council is, is states it so it's only illegal when brewerton's envisaged barrister right. says it's so I have a question to, talking um, about Ashley, the park. Ashley, can, I out, can i point out how much time we're wasting here yes it's a lot well, i'm it? sorry but you're yeah. still <laughs> wasting time I, I just want to you take a five-minute break to make a cup of tea? How, how, how do you call uh, I'd like, in this, in Chair, I'd like that. to make a comment, please. Councillor Cynthia Sampson. And is it about... Yes. Yes. Is it about yes. We called this meeting tonight with an agenda. At no time when you started to chair it, did you say it was illegal? But every other meeting we have called, whether it be extraordinary or on the calendar, you have deemed them to be illegal. You have never given us evidence to say why they are illegal. It is your opinion. We took advice. We took professional advice. And have now, you unfortunately, now, unfortunately... Both well, Smith and Moore have my legal advice. Can now, I, uh, unfortunately... Can I, can, I suggest, can I suggest, if you want to contest my <coughs> having an opinion, that you get written legal advice? That no, that's all, all I'm asking for is part of the protein. But you've taken it. I propose that we do a vote on real confidence in Councillor Palmer because he's clearly not fit for the position. I agree. And I'm not being rude, and that is just with action from tonight. Never mind previous meetings. I so agree. can one of the councillors please answer the question? How do we do a vote with no confidence in Councillor you, have to get, you, you would have to get people to put it on the agenda. Right, well... Uh, we know what's on the next agenda then, don't we, boys and girls? You have to put it on the agenda. Oh, the the on the agenda. Now then, now this. Uh, I definitely agree as well. <gasps> Chair, I'd just like to make a comment to that member of the public now? that it doesn't matter what happens on a vote of no confidence, it can just be ignored by the subject of that vote of no confidence, unfortunately. Sick burn. Ignore no. it. What, what? Epic. Chair, do we then raise a complaint or, you know, put in a motion, motion to remove Councillor Talbot as the chair? Excuse me. Because I'm sorry. It's, um, There's no you know, he's being a obstructive behaviour. Um, can I ask, please? Resident. Can someone mute the, uh, uh, iPad 3? Yeah. Yeah. Can we have some order, please? Yeah. Councillor Cynthia Sampson, I'd just like to make another comment. The reason why this all came about is because the parish car, Ashley Kaminsky Dawson, was suspended with no formal disciplinary hearing. And because we supported Ashley, that's why this is all broken down. And I'm sorry, this is not very... Oh, Clark, can you mute everybody, please? Uh, please, uh, oh, no. can we have some more? Oh, oh, no, I was just muted everyone. Hello? I'm just saying, right. if you help just like like to, can, when you I, mute someone, they can unmute This is Councillor Cynthia Sampson. I just like to make people aware in the public gallery the reason why. A lot of this has happened, and it was because of the treatment of our parish clerk. Our parish is clerk is now back in harness. Thank you, Ashley, for okay, so Ashley. And oh, I, I want people to know that uh, Ashley committed no misdemeanor, no misconduct, and no evidence was forthcoming to support that so-called suspension. Ash, can I ask the clerk, Ashley? Uh, can you? Oh, uh, that's can a shame, you, Brian. Can you mute the uh, the offenders, please? Ash without a vote. I totally agree. 
I I'd suggest like you take a vote. Out. I can mute everybody and they will not be able to mute themselves. I'd just like to say myself, Ashley seems a thoroughly delightful chap. We've been in com communication the last couple of days. He seems very nice to me. He is, but unfortunately that's not for discussion at the moment. Well, that can't be in the next I meeting. I just wanted to put it out there. I'd love it. Ashley couldn't run a bat, never mind the meeting. This has done so much for local politics awareness. Like, I'm looking into joining my own parish council now, actually. I'll join with you. <laughs> you don't know where I live, so... Can, I, we, get, I can, can we get back to the <laughs> minute, please? Here, here. Please, thank you. Where's the chair? Can, the chair, the chair is muted I'll again. I believe the chair is trying to it's speak. Gonna, but this is an absolute clusterfuck. This is a shambles. No confidence in the clock, please. Chair, you're muted. <laughs> what can I be shambles? Oh, damn it is blushing now. Oh, oh, Chair, I, you're I, unmuted I, now if you wish to speak. I, I'd just like to say I've been fairly polite tonight. This is Chair, are you going to carry on? I'm, I'm waiting for everybody to I'm waiting for wait, everybody to wait, come wait, back wait. to order. Well, you've been waiting a long time, Chair. Well, uh, you've been waiting a long time. You've been the one doing the talking for much of the time. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, Chair, without getting any answers from you, you won't. You refuse to answer, except I, I, the questions I, I, that you want I, to ask. Answer. You don't answer people's answer. questions. Can we please get on with the agenda? Yes. Yes. Can I propose that we accept the minutes of the meeting on Thursday, the 25th, 21st of January? Well, I have an objection to part of it. Of course. Okay. Uh, of course. Can I, I've proposed, can I have a seconder, please? I'd second that, Cynthia. I, Thank I you. Have an, I have an objection to the part that says that I uh, unexpectedly left the meeting. It's back to front. I think it's backwards, Brian. The, the what? <laughs> front, Brian. What do you mean? Well, when you hold it up to the camera, it's back to front. Mm. Go right back. Not to him, it isn't. Um, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to oh. read it. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. It's, I'm very glad people know how mirrors work. It's, it's because which, I have to which use magnifying glass. So it's the bit that says, uh, uh, Councillor Tolver unexpectedly left the meeting. It, it was... The meeting unexpectedly left Councillor Tolver. Is the way That's I'm not going. the case, Chair. No, uh, I was actually asking you. I was, I was asking you a question. Councillor Smith, on, are we respecting each other or not? Please go ahead. I was speaking. I can't remember the particular uh, context, the particular words that I was saying. But I, I was I speaking to somebody, and the screen went blank. No, Chair, well, I was asking you a question. I was asking you a question of what you considered was illegal about the meeting of the 21st of January. Oh. And I asked you the question, and then you were nowhere. The, the um, slide on the floor passed out. It oh. was not uh, nice. the clerk who uh, disconnected you. I was in the middle of asking you a question. And then you went. You will remember that there was only you there because councillors Brewerton and Burkill didn't attend that meeting. You attended it for a short space of time, enough time to well, meet it was illegal. I'm, I'm, which, I'm Chair, will you respect me now, please? I'm telling you what Chair, happened from my Chair, perspective. Will you respect me now, please? Come I'm guys, speaking. Respect each other. Will you respect nice. me now, please? That that happens on each of those three meetings, the two on the 10th and the one on the 21st. You're there long enough to... Um, antagonize people by saying that the meeting is illegal for non-correct reasons and then you just disappeared on the third one because your other councillors weren't there with you and uh, that's that's what happened chair and that's why we were wondering where you'd gone because that's why i've given you, that's why i've given you legal advice councillor smith you, you know uh, that i was ejected by Pressing no, that's not true. Let, let me just state this. In the first meeting, uh, she, she who, moved who, you who, into the... 
who is going to have a chance to speak here if we keep talking over each other? Okay, was, well, I'll, I'll just say this and I'll finish it then, Chair, and pass it completely to well, you. Could you At could the you, first meeting... Could you let me finish first, please? Because uh, I did was, start first. Go on, then. The, the first meeting on December the 10th was the planning committee, and I was reading from a prepared statement that I had written down. Um, I got two and a half sentences into that, and I was muted by, by Jackie Weaver. Um, I didn't realise I was muted. I carried on speaking. I didn't realise that could happen. Um, I, I continued speaking, um, although, of course, I'd been silenced for a portion of what I was saying. Um, she spoke to me, and I can't remember the words, but uh, uh, she she argued with me about something. No, she um, didn't argue with you, Councillor Tolman. Please, please she told you, you. She told you that the meeting was legal, and Let you the gentleman disputed speak. it. Also, also, Councillor Tolman, may I, may I just ask why you needed a prepared statement? So, you may you may ask, and I will answer it in a moment. Um, but I want to finish what I was saying first, if you'll excuse me. Hello, hi. I was, I was. Hi, I've just done a bit of call in a minute, though. I was reading hi, the hello. statement, and there was some dialogue with uh, Ms. Weaver, um, who, incidentally, um, was speaking out of turn because nobody is allowed to speak under those circumstances, as you know, uh, and. I don't know why, but she pressed the mute button and she has said as much um, in interviews on television, I believe. Oh, bitter. And... Uh, I mean, I, I think it was fairly so, obvious why she did that to be fair on her. Sorry, oh, could you be quiet, there, please, uh, member of the public, and let him finish? Muggle, shut up. What, sorry. I presume she didn't like what I was saying, but she had no right to exclude me, however much she disliked it, is my point. Correct. It's, uh, it's, it's for, once the meeting has started, it's for councillors to decide, and um, through the chair, who is to speak at any one point in time. You might not think it from some of the things that have gone on in this meeting so far this evening, but that's how it is. Councillors and members of the public should only speak via the chair. It's not a power trip, it's just the way that a, a, a democratic system runs in an orderly fashion. Otherwise, you have disorder and chaos, as we've seen this evening. So, it would be if the that, that was the situation the there. She, she, she muted me and she acknowledges the fact as I understand it. No, that is and not... Oh, Cynthia, 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 please then, wait until he finishes. And then in the second meeting that evening, the full council meeting, um, uh, we resumed about three quarters of an hour after the first one. Um, and I was upset about that, the fact that I'd been muted and excluded entirely from the meeting. Um, and I was asking her what she had done and why and uh, that, that ended up with her ejecting me from the second meeting again without any lawful authority I'm sure the solicitor chap who was amongst yes. them there would agree with me on that um, and uh, in, on both of those meetings uh, councillors Burkill and Brewerton were unhappy that I'd been ejected, sensibly so, I should say, uh, and and they ended up being ejected by her also. Now, she may not have liked what was being said and the manner in which it was said, but the manner in which anybody, councillors or members of the public, may be eject ejected from a meeting is that the chairman says he finds that the behaviour of a particular person is discourteous um, and asks that person to stop doing that. And then if uh, that behaviour continues, he puts it to a vote of all of the councillors there present 
and they by majority decide whether that person should be excluded from the meeting. There is no circumstance in which any one individual person may eject, not even the chair, may eject anybody from the meeting. That's standing order 10A and 10B collectively of our standing orders, and that's common for all councils across the country. Well, I, 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 haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't read them all. Order! You're beautiful. Councillor Torva, may I ask a sincere question, please? So, sorry, I'm just sorry. Can I just state that I've been waiting for the chair to finish what he was saying? Well, I was, then going, to, I was then going to finish by saying, uh, on each occasion of those two, um, I was speaking, and the eject button was pressed, and my screen went blank. On the meeting of the, uh, I've lost track now of the, whatever it was, 21st of January, from my perspective, exactly the same thing happened. I was speaking, or perhaps I had just finished speaking and Councillor Smith had started again or something, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, and, uh, uh, and the screen went blank. May I speak now, Chair? Yes, please. Um, Jackie Weaver did state at one stage when you came in and said the meeting is illegal that if there is a question of the legality of a meeting it should be brought up before the meeting commences in order and in order so that you know you can have discussion about it but what happens is that you came into the meeting on the 10th or the uh, planning and environment meeting you stated that the meeting is illegal Jackie Weaver then said, no, the meeting has been called correctly by two councillors. And you said, no, it's illegal. And you continued to say it was illegal. And then that's when voices start getting rowdy. No, and no, they were, dis you're, they you're were disrupting. You're, Will you let me finish, Chair? Well, 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 you're, just doing, you're, you're making an incorrect statement. No, no, I'm not. No, watch, not. Watch, no, not. Watch, order. watch the video. Now, following Let's further go, comments, I, I Jackie, Weaver, Jackie Weaver placed... Yeah the three councillors in the Zoom waiting room. <coughs> when, she, when she returned to the waiting room to ask if the councillors would cease the abusive comments, if admitted back into the meeting, you'd left. She hadn't clicked the button to send you out. She would put you in the waiting room and then came back to well, ask what, if you what, would what stop. Do, what does, what does that, chair, what, what chair, does that, what does chair that will like? you please let, let him finish? Speak. What does, yeah, please please let me finish, Chair. What I do you think the waiting speaking. room looks like? I, mean, I don't it, care what the waiting room looks like. She placed well, you this, in there. This, this no, no, the waiting room is really that nice. Chair, will you let me finish? Uh, oh, my God. Being a bit hypocritical. The councillors were not kicked out. You disconnected yourself from the Zoom meeting. And after that, the planning meeting continued normally. At the start of the HPC meeting, later that evening at 7.40, the first thing you said again is, Effectively, you're not going to throw me out. This meeting is illegal. Again, you're saying that the validity of the meeting is in question. And Jackie then said, the meeting has been called correctly by two councillors. But you didn't accept that. And then followed the tirade of bullying abuse that everybody in the world has seen, and his brother have seen. I, th I, think, clerk, I, I think And then she are. put the game. She again put... Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? it the clerk oh. then, then asked... Place you in the um, uh, the waiting room again, and came back in and asked the three councillors left, Samson, Moore, and myself, if we would like you invited back into the meeting. And we said, well, no, they're just going to be obstructive again because your concern was that it was an illegal meeting. So we voted not to allow you back in. She did not kick you out. We voted you out. And then in the meeting on the 21st of January, again, you go into the meeting straight away. Councillors Birkeland and Brewerton were not present in the meeting. I don't think you were there for uh, intending to be there long. You made your normal statement that the meeting was illegal. And I was actually asking you, please state, Chair, what exactly is illegal about the meeting? And then you disappeared. Jackie Weaver didn't throw you out. You left of your own volition. Let's so, go back and... Have you finished? No, that's all I've got to say. Here, John this. Smith. Yeah. So, and you've still not answered why you don't answer emails from Councillor Moore about requests for. Uh, shall, we, shall we stop changing the subject for a moment? No, no let's move on. 
Let's move on. Can We've discussed the minutes. Let him finish. Tamo, can you Chair, Chair, you've had your, have, you've had your five minutes. Have, I've had my five minutes. Can I suggest we move on? I have much to dispute in what Councillor Smith just said. Go on. I'm sure I you have. I don't really may want I, to bore everybody, but he was wrong on just about every single point he raised. May I explain how he was wrong? And, may I, and, and, uh, I, I, I would, if people would kindly be quiet. May I put forward something that's actually polite? Ooh. May I put forward that as a motion? Is that is that is that acceptable to everyone? That's Sorry. acceptable. No, it's yes. not on the agenda. Sorry. Oh, I mean, I believe. Do not assume my gender. <laughs> uh, Councillors Smith and Moore know my opinion, and that's my opinion on the law and everything else. No, I, would like to, I would like. Is this man a councillor? I would like to maybe say. Councillor Tolver, as an adult man, come on, Joe. Would you like to maybe apologise for your previous discourse? Because I read the standing orders, and there is no way. Who is in charge of the mute? There's no way of. Um, Ash Ashley, Ashley, could we? Would you like to have a vote and mute Ashley, everybody? There's no way of actually putting the, the rules you put against kicking other people against the chairman. I've read the standing orders. I've seen that. Jackie Weaver had no other choice. There was no rules in your standing orders about how you kick a chairman out. So I wonder if as a... <coughs> Mute you might like to apologise for your previous discourse, that's all. Ashley, are you there? Yes. Are you going to vote? I want to mute the participants during your during your debate. Could you mute me or pick me out? I'm just trying to be the voice of reason. And I think that's acceptable. Well, Jackie's not here, so you're not. None of this benefits the residents of Hanforth. Exactly. Who is that? Alan Murdoch. I don't think so. Can we, can, can we continue, please? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is going, going to sound slightly ironic, but the clerk has now asked three times if the councillors would like to vote on whether the members of the public should all be muted. And I think they should, because it's the, that is what's causing the disruption. So I'm sorry I interjected to say that, but he doesn't seem to be able to get that through. i say <coughs> yes, Ashley. Hey. Ashley, I'd say yes. Please. I'm in favour. Yes, I'm in favour. No confidence. No. That's not irony. Why does ET have the authority? Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. I'm so if you respond to the um, message that Ashley has sent you, you can unmute yourself. In the middle of the screen, it should be. Yeah. Anybody, any idea why that keeps happening? Did you keep pressing the button? No, Ashley has muted everybody uh, and he's uh, given us permission to unmute ourselves uh, to avoid interjections okay thank you so can we get on to the next item right so oh. i was i was trying to say before i muted myself or was muted or whatever it was um that uh i, I will not as chairman be prepared to sign these minutes uh as as you have passed them that's okay councillor tolver if you uh vote against it uh the vice chair or Anybody in the meeting tonight can sign them off to say that they're a true and accurate record. And as uh, the person who um, chaired the meeting was uh, Councillor Smith, so he can sign them off. No, if you look at the standing orders, you will see that if I... Uh, as you don't control the council, Councillor Tolver. 
Sorry. You are only the chair. Councillor Sanders, would you I'm please sorry. If we take a vote you please to say that we accept the minutes, chair. the chair of that meeting I'm was Councillor to, Smith. I'm trying to explain to you the standing orders. The uh, If the chair uh, is un not content with the minutes, he may make a statement in those minutes to that effect. But you weren't at that meeting, You weren't at the meeting. But I am oh. present at this one. But you weren't uh, at the last year. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm, pres I'm present at this one, and I was present at that one until the point where my uh, alleged... You walked out, Chair. You walked out. Yes, but I was present until that point. Do you call it yeah, walking out? Yeah, but you out? walked out. You weren't what muted. Out? You weren't thrown out. We, we, are voting on the, we are voting on the minutes as they are written, not what happened at the meeting. Correct. Please, can I, can you can I propose that we, select, that yes. we accept these minutes, please? I vote in favour. In favour. In favour. Anyone against? Me. And one against. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. 